Heavyweight Showdown. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but this is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Back to the feet now. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, a huge block there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Just over three minutes to go. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh! Nice. The gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch lands is in the perfect spot. Oh, he might be out. Big knee to the body. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. That was a good, nice strike. So he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Oh, nice right hand. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight. Oh, that was right there, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Good stick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Big kick land. Oh! And the takedown is there, so beautiful fighting instincts there. What a round. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to... Second round underway. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Big. Back the straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice hook. He's hurt bad. Nice loop, this bunch. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Keep going again. Do it again. Three minutes remain in the round. You can do this. 
All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And both guys really throwing with authority. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And he comes through with a big knee. Right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. If you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Nice punch, oh. man. Blocks the shot. Oh, big elbow. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Oh, nice right hand. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Nice. Oh, oh Shakir DC, he is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Big damaging knees here to the body. Oh, straight right. Well, not oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He is getting lit up right now, John. Strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Whiffs on that offering. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. 30 seconds to go. Well, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You 
cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh! All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 928. For the winner by unanimous decision, Surreal Morgan Hall. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is 